Well, it's always very exciting when a manufacturer comes out with a brand new model. This is the all new i3. And it's even more exciting when there's new technology underneath it. This is the full electric car. And we're here in Ontario going to BMW's head office to find out more about the i3. The BMW i3 has sold well since it became available in Canada in May of 2014. One reason, the starting price. $44,950, which is a very good starting price for a premium car. It's sold with three trim levels, the base loft, then the lodge, which ups the i3 to include 19-inch wheels, leather and cloth seats, upgraded navigation, LED headlamps, and park assist for $3,600. The top suite trim has all the lodge features, plus it adds full leather, and that costs $4,600. And one of my criticisms of electric cars has been that you pay a premium price, but you typically don't get a premium interior. BMW has absolutely got it right with this vehicle, and I think this is one of the main selling features, the inside of the car, where you spend all of your time. Now, 25% of the materials used in this car are recycled. If you get the base model with the cloth seats, that material is 100% recycled. The mid-trim gets half leather, half cloth, and this is the top model with full leather. What all of these vehicles get is this open pour eucalyptus wood on the deck that looks very modern and upscale. The eucalyptus wood is abundant in Europe and it grows very quickly, which helps make it a green product. Now the dash is very open. You've got the screen behind the steering wheel here and a floating screen in the dash. Depending on whether you get an updated navigation system, you get the big, beautiful screen here. Now all of these i3s do have navigation. They need the navigation system to help you govern how far you can go on the electric drive, but there is an upgraded uh, navigation which gets you that beautiful big screen. I like the fact that it's open here between the driver and the passenger. The floor in the back is flat and it feels very open and large. The seats are comfortable. BMW does some of the best seats in the business and iDrive is down here to let you connect. And the material on the door in the upper part of the dash, it, it looks recycled. I think it could maybe look a little bit more upscale, but really that's a very minor criticism. The i3 is sold with a range extender or a small onboard generator which costs $3,000 more. This has to be purchased when the car is new. It cannot be retrofitted. This means i3 buyers have to really think long and hard about their driving style. Do they need more range than the battery can afford or is the 160 kilometer in-city range enough for everyday driving? Most buyers don't drive that far, on average a 47 kilometer commute. So the battery in the i3 might sell better than the one with the range extender. Mark Belcourt from BMW Canada shows us around the new BMW i3. Now Mark, I see back here, this is where the plug is, so the gas can go in there if you have that feature. This is the standardized plug, and, and this is able to use like 120 and 220, is that right? This is the level two charger, so this is using 240, and will charge this vehicle in approximately three hours. If you're using just a domestic socket in your house, in your garage, and a level one, this would take about 12 to 15 hours to charge. When you're sleeping, pretty much. And this vehicle is also equipped with the optional DC fast charging, which is located right here, and the DC fast charging will charge the BMW i3 up to 80% in 30 minutes. Wow. Now we have our camera gear in here, Mark, so we've still got quite a bit of space in here. The seats fold down, but under here is where the magic is, right? What's underneath? Well, we have an electric motor with an output of 170 horsepower and 184 pounds-feet of torque, which give performance to this car 0 to 60 at 7.2 seconds. Now, we talked about the filler there and the uh, uh, ability to have a small engine, the gasoline engine in there. What is it? Well, the range extender yeah. is located next to the electric motor. It does not sacrifice any interior cabin space. It's a 650cc two-cylinder uh, combustion engine, which will extend the range from 160 kilometers to over 300 kilometers. And you have a very small fuel tank, I'm guessing. Correct, it's seven liters. Yeah. So that really is there for an emergency to get you to your next charge. How it works is when the remaining charge drops below 10% on the high voltage battery, the range extender will automatically come into effect. It's not able to be switched on or off by the driver and it's designed to maintain that charge at 6%, not increase the charge and not allow the charge to decrease. Well, Mark, thanks a lot for showing us around the i3. Now we get to drive it all around the uh, BMW head office here in Richmond Hill.
Well, BMW has had electric cars in the past. They had the E-Mini, which was actually distributed almost like beta testers in 2009. They had the active E-BMW in 2011. With the combined numbers of those beta testers, they did over 21 and a half million kilometers of driving. And they collected a lot of data from those people and they found that the average commute for those drivers was just 47 kilometers a day. And then they went out and they studied people who are interested in this i3 and BMW Canada found that the average commute, uh, about 77% of the Canadians that are interested in this car do less than 60 kilometers a day round trip, which says you don't need to have a 300 kilometer range electric battery pack. With this car, 160 kilometers, it's gonna fulfill the needs of most people. Now this is quite a powerful machine. It weighs just under 1,100 kilograms, thanks to all that carbon fiber, but it has 170 horsepower and 184 foot-pounds of torque. And when you put your foot into it, it's, it's the torque is it's effortless and you scoot away and it feels powerful and it feels like a BMW should. Now one thing I should point out, this car's got very skinny tires, even though they're big, they're not very wide, and we haven't really had a chance to drive in too much of the twisties around here because we've been filming all day, but uh, the car feels very planted. It feels very solid. It's quiet and reassuring with great outward visibility. This car would be a pleasure to drive every single day. Now, one thing I find very interesting about this car is the regenerative braking. That's when you lift your foot off the throttle or you actually want to slow down the electric motor then becomes a brake and it sends electricity back into the battery pack. So we're driving along at 60 kilometers an hour. I lift my foot off the throttle. We're down to 40, um, 30. And what happens is the car comes to a complete stop, okay, without me touching the brakes. And you can get used to that. You can also get used to this part, the taking off. <laughs> the acceleration is fun. But when you're driving, especially in stop and go traffic, you can just moderate your throttle, never touch the brake, which sends electricity back to the battery pack, but it also saves you having to get a brake job as much as you would with a regular gasoline car. The body of the i3 is covered with lightweight panels, but underneath is the world's first mass-produced carbon fiber cell matched to an aluminum substructure. The i3 is currently selling well and gaining ground on the established electric cars in the market. As of recording this, the i3 is the fifth best seller behind the Chevy Volt, the Nissan Leaf, the Tesla Model S, and then the Smart Electric. Well, this BMW i3 starts at just under $45,000, but if you live in a jurisdiction in Canada where they give you a rebate for buying an electric car, some places up to $8,500, it brings this car down to non-premium prices. And I think that's one of the things the i3 has going for it. It's got BMW behind it. It's got that premium badge. It's probably going to have great resale. You know one manufacturer that's really helped to get excitement around electric cars? That's Tesla. They've proven if you have a premium product and it's fully electrified, it will sell and BMW I think is going to do very well with this new i3.